I'm Anthony Mason with Gail King and Tony DeCopel. Only on CBS This Morning, we're hearing for the first time from a Connecticut man accused of killing a hotel worker in the Caribbean. Scott Hapgood is charged with manslaughter in the death of Kenny Mitchell. Hapgood claims Mitchell attacked him at a resort on the island of Anguilla in April in front of his two daughters. Investigative correspondent Anna Werner is here. Anna, what did Hapgood have to say? Well, good morning, Anthony. Scott Hapgood describes his past four months as terrible, but says he hopes to clear his name. He spent the past several months out on bail, but is traveling back and forth to Anguilla this week ahead of a court appearance on Thursday. We spoke to him yesterday during his first trip back to the island, a trip required as part of his bond agreement. All I did was defend my, my young daughters in front of an attacker that was crazed and desperate. And um, I have to just hold on to that fact. I would do it again and thank God I was in the room when he came. Scott Hapgood says he was anxious about returning to Anguilla for the first time in four months, ever since he says he was ambushed by a resort worker there. I was on vacation, um, relaxing with my family, and uh, attacked at knife point in a private hotel room on an exclusive resort. After the incident on April 13th, a spokeswoman for Hapgood said a worker identified as 27-year-old Kenny Mitchell showed up unannounced in uniform at the hotel room around 4 p.m., claiming he was there to fix a broken sink before carrying out his sudden violent attack. They said he was armed and demanding money. Four days later, authorities charged Hapgood with manslaughter. He was later released from jail on $74,000 bail. It's certainly the most terrifying event I've ever experienced, not, not just the attack, but the, the way I was treated on the island, the, the, the time I spent in jail, um, the threats since, the frustration with dealing with the, um, the local judicial process and the local government. Hapgood's family says he was stabbed, bitten several times, and sustained many bruises over his arms and chest. Mitchell's autopsy report shows he was beaten and choked to death. But a toxicology report released by the island's attorney general also shows Mitchell had cocaine, cannabis, and other drugs in his system. It shows his blood alcohol content was more than two times the legal limit in the U.S. My son wasn't into those things. I know Kenny. Kenny wasn't into those things. Less than a month before the alleged attack, an ex-girlfriend accused Mitchell of rape. That case was pending at the time of his death, and the ex-girlfriend later called it a misunderstanding. Mitchell's mother, Rena, says her son was a considerate man and a loving father with no history of violent behavior. I am just praying and hoping that my child get justice, no matter what. Hapgood says justice for him would be clearing his name. We look forward to a lot of um, evidence that hasn't yet made, been made public getting to the public. I think it will have an immediate and dramatic uh, impact on people's sentiment towards this, this incident. Our producer Sean Herbert tells us many locals are angry over this case and were skeptical that Hapgood would return for his court appearance. Hapgood is back in the U.S. today but is expected to return to Anguilla tomorrow. The Anguilla Crime Scene Department said it had no comment on this toxicology report. It's such a bizarre story. So it, it just makes yeah. no sense yeah. on, for, for on so many. On either side. Yeah. yeah, on either side. Yeah, yeah. But he is going through the process and he's returning to Anguilla as right. he says and he wants to clear his name. Yeah, requirements. He has to yeah. come back a certain number of times. Very strange. The bond agreement. Yeah. Thank you, Anna.